More on what people are talking about there. John and Taryn, the 8th annual, annual meeting is just getting underway here at the Cornhusker Marriott. And joining me now is the Executive Director of the Nebraska Corn Board, Kelly Brunkhorst. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you. A big emphasis today is on the expansion of livestock. What will that mean for grain producers? Well, really, it's about demand. And more importantly, it's about value-added demand. We produce abundant feedstock and corn, and now we want to turn that into a value-added product in, in red meat, dairy, and poultry products. And it's that demand is what we're tasked with and, and provides a great opportunity of economic base for our state. And do you think that will require corn production to increase? You know, producers have shown year after year that we can meet all demands. And with coming on with another record year of corn production this year, that's followed by a near record last year and a record year before that, <clears throat> we realize that we can produce a feedstock to meet all of our needs. And so do you think there'll be a greater demand if this livestock expands? We hope so. I mean, that's, that's one of the goals, is it, is to not only create demand, but create demand here in the state and ship out the, those value-added opportunities such as red meat, dairy, poultry products, that we add value here, we add tax base here, we add jobs here, and that's, that's one of the many benefits that we have with our livestock industry. Do you think that corn producers will be able to diversify their farms? That's a goal, not only diversification, but it's also bringing back that next generation of producers, whether it be a livestock producer or a corn producer. The livestock industry provides that opportunity to diversify an operation, to bring back that next generation and really provide opportunities. And there's lots of people speaking here today. What are you looking forward to hearing? We're really looking forward to the excitement that's building in the industry. We've Again, we've talked about the, the abundant feedstock that we can produce. We realize that we're a leader already in the livestock industry, but we want to provide and continue need to provide those opportunities for that next generation, for the diversification, but also for the tax base of our state. And so I, I'm looking forward to hearing the governor's comments, looking forward to other speakers talking about how we can continue to enhance those opportunities. And do you think producers throughout the different industries are working together today then? It's the AFAM provides that great synergy that brings everybody from the grain producers to the livestock industry to the value-added opportunities and, and allied industries. It brings us all together realizing that this is a core function and core opportunity for us all. All right, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We'll have more a little later on the show, John and Terrence.